In this video, I want to show another uh, control flow of reading input from a user and validating if the file exists. If it doesn't exist, keep asking for input from a user. So first, I want to talk about file systems in Linux versus Windows. And in a lot of Linux operating systems, it depends on the actual file system you're using because there are multiple different file system types. But for the most part, almost all file paths are valid in Linux. So if you have a null character, that's about the only thing that's invalid. So I want to show you an example of this. In this program, I'm going to read in a Linux path that doesn't exist but is valid, and I'm going to read in a Windows path that doesn't exist but is valid, and I'm going to show you that they both validate on Linux. But if you try to read in a single null character on Linux, it will fail. So I'm going to go ahead and run this program, and you'll see the first one, it let me create a path from this even though that file doesn't exist, it's a valid file name. And in the second one, it let me create a path from this, which even though it doesn't exist, even on Linux, that's still a valid file name. Um, and interestingly, the only thing that'll fail is a null character. So you'll see we've got invalid path exception, null character not allowed. Now on Windows, you can even just put a question mark in any file path and it'll fail and blow up. So this path, um, paths.get, what it does is it validates if a path is uh, valid or not on your file system. So, and if it's not valid, it'll throw an exception immediately. Um, alternatively, instead of doing file system, we can just do path, test path three. I'm gonna comment this out up here. And we can just do paths, dot get and we'll do a null character again so this is the actual way we're going to do it in the video but just showing you that this grabbing a file system here and getting paths from the file system for our purposes it's going to be the same as using paths dot get which is a static utility method Okay, so now to create this uh, class. What I'm going to do is create a new class and I'm going to call it uh, video uh, while path check. And we'll put a static main method on there so we can run it directly again. Um, first, I'm going to create a scanner because I want to read input from the user. And we'll do system.in. So I'm passing in the system.in input stream, and that will give me input from the keyboard. Um, the second thing I'm going to do is create a path, and this is that NIO file path in, um, interface. And we're just going to call that uh, user path because that is what the user is going to enter, and we'll put that as null. I'm going to do one more thing and create a Boolean is valid equal to false because in my while loop I'm going to use that as my variable that tells me whether to terminate the loop or not so if it is equal to false I'm going to make the loop run and what we'll do inside this loop is continually ask for input from the user until we get something valid so because we know path can blow up we're going to wrap this whole thing in a try catch and I believe it's an invalid file path exception. And we'll say um, path was not valid here. So in this loop, the first thing we're going to do is prompt the user to please enter a path. Please enter a file path. And we will just ask for that into a string. So we're going to say file path equals to scanner dot next line. And that'll read the line of input from the user. Um, so the first thing we're going to do, we're going to try to set user path equal to paths dot get. We're going to use that static utility method on paths again and pass any file path. Um, 
And again, I could make this fail on Windows, but I'm on a Linux system right now, and the only thing that'll really make this fail is a null character. So we aren't going to be able to see that today. But on Windows, this is very necessary, this invalid file path exception. What we are going to do is check to see if the file exists. So I'm going to say if uh, files dot exists, and this is a static method on files, and it takes the path. So I can say user path, and I'm just going to delete this because we don't need that part of it. If the files exist, we're going to say um, is valid is true. Else, we're going to print out a helpful message that says, sorry, that file did not exist. Okay, and just for um, readability, I'm going to print out an empty line there. Um, so down below this, basically once we get through this while loop, we have valid input. So I'm going to print out the uh, user's path, and we are going to do user path dot absolute file name. Yeah, to absolute path, and I'm going to say done, so that you know the program is complete. There's one more thing we should do here, just because Linux is so permissive about the kinds of file paths it accepts. I'm going to say if user path, um, sorry, if file path, that's the string, dot trim, and that just removes all white space, uh, equals equals empty character, or empty string. So it's possible that they use an empty string, and what we want to do is say, um, sorry, that file path, was empty and I'm going to say continue and what that does is makes the loop go to the next iteration is valid will still be false so that we go through and iterate through the loop again okay so first off I'm going to run this I'm going to right click and do run as Java application and I'm just going to enter an empty value um, Okay, that was interesting. <laughs> that did not work quite as I expected it to. So, file path. Interesting. That should not have happened. Okay, let's try this one more time. So, we're going to enter file path. I'm going to say um, temp. Um, not a real file and it's going to say sorry this file did not exist please enter the file path I can keep entering fake pass so on Linux it's user and I'll say user um, not a real user documents and it will see that it does not exist so we're getting into this right here. It's validating the path and it's saying it doesn't exist. Now finally, I'm going to enter a real path that I do know exists and I'm going to enter TMP because on Linux there's always a TMP directory usually, usually. So we're going to say TMP and I'm going to say yes, it does exist, done. Um, so anyway, this is just a quick uh, looping construct. So. Uh, this will allow you to collect input from the user and until it's valid it'll keep it'll keep collecting input from the user and finally down here you're going to have the path that's valid this user path um, so in summary if you want to collect uh, input from the user you can do a while loop with a try catch in the middle and then use a variable to check validation